I don't have anything in this. It's been a wild day. Now that it's finally been posted, I can tell y'all what's pretty much going on. Uh, the Mayweather Pacquiao fight is not off. They're still in negotiations. What's happening is the Nevada State Athletic Committee is trying to get them, them meaning Mayweather and his camp, um, to try to submit to this urine testing that they want to do. Right now they're going to subpoena them, well not subpoena, but threaten suspending them if they don't take the urine test, you know, in advance. So they just want to try to think that might help speed things up. But the NSAC don't do blood tests, and so I don't know why Bob Aaron keeps promoting it. Like, if they tell us to take the blood test, we'll take the blood test. So, I, I, the guy is just a joke. But they did sit down and talk today to Bob and Leonard Ellaby, Richard Schaefer was there, Al Heyman was not. But I did know this was going down and I was told to bite my tongue on it. Now it's finally been posted so I can just tell you what was said. It was pretty much because uh, Golden Boy and Mayweather Promotions had a statement that they put out. So... Let me start off by saying this. This is how the statement goes. And this is how it starts from beginning to end. I'll leave nothing out. Let the record be clear. Manny Pacquiao and his promoter Bob Arum are threatening to walk away from the largest fight in history. The fact is that random blood in your intestine was one of many deal points and was listed among with other things such as the financial split, the weight, financial penalty, and being over at weight, the appointment for the foreign sales agent, the production of the marketing assets, the gloves, and many more. Team Mayweather has made major concessions in many of these areas, and we are optimistic that Team Pacquiao would do the same, as is related to the request of for random blood and urine testing, which Floyd Mayweather agreed to immediately. It is disappointing for us to see that the benefit of blood testing and the fact that many different substances and procedures can only be detected by blood testing are still not fully understood by all. Their it take it their take it or leave it approach where blood testing would stop 30 days prior to the fight unless the Nevada State Athletic Committee, the NSAC, approved differently is another indication that they may not want this fight. Pacquiao's position, as stated on his website, that is, the truth is taking blood out of his body doesn't seem natural to him mentally, and it feels that it will weaken him just days before the fight. Or he is afraid of needles and does not feel comfortable with blood being taken closer than 30 days before the fight. Is another interesting point. The fact that he did have his blood taken just 14 days prior to his fight with Ricky Hatton, an event which was documented on HBO's 24-7 reality show. I said that in the video. Also, when <laughs> told that Pacquiao feels the United States Anti-Doping Agency is an agent of Golden Boy Promotions, which is in or in itself a ridiculous accusation, we moved swiftly and made another yet another concession by stating that we were perfectly fine to retain another agency which would do the random urine and blood test and jointly agreeing on a reasonable cutoff prior to the fight, but which would still remain to be the integrity of the results. Let it be clear that at this particular time, it was declined by Pacquiao and was the proposal to bring in an immediate media such as Senator John McCain. And suggestion that was in fact embraced by Bob Arum, but declined by Manny Pacquiao. Let it be clear that nobody from Team Mayweather or Golden Boy Promotions is accusing Manny Pacquiao of anything. But the reality seems to be that for whatever reason, Pacquiao does not want to participate in any random blood testing, which has already been deemed as harmless procedure, and many current athletes are subject to prior to this and during competition. 
Team Mayweather and Golden Boy Promotions is still open for early discussions of having both parties work out a mutual agreement understanding of the testing which would be conducted by a mutual agreed upon agency. In closing, Floyd Mayweather is one of the most decorated athletes boxing has ever seen and he is anxious to make this fight happen for all of the fans and sports enthusiasts. That all being said, asking for this hap fight to happen, as you might notice, Floyd has been silent, watching, and patiently waiting for the final details of the fight to get worked out. As Floyd has already stated, he does not have a problem with the random procedure and will be under the same requirements as Manny Pacquiao. It is simply hard for him to understand why there is such reluctance on Mac Manny Pacquiao's part to agree to do the same. And that is it. So, that's, that's their point and that's where they stand. They made a lot of concessions to make this fight happen. So, anybody thinking Mayweather don't want to fight Pacquiao, you got your damn mind. <laughs> they even bring that to the table. You better go back and try to get something else because, trust me, if he didn't want to fight Pacquiao, all he had to do was don't fight Pacquiao. Trust me, he will make more money fighting Shane Mosley than they would fighting Paul Imaginati, and they know it. That's why they, the deadline keep getting pushed back, pushed back. Today was supposed to be a final deadline. Hey, you see what happened, right? But the fight should be getting finalized this week. They got to move on it quick. Really quick. They're running out of time. Peace.